now let's look at this uh, file again. We've kind of dealt with this before, the drive chest versus the drive head in the previous clip. So let's do this uh, fairly quickly. Uh, first, I want to get my least squares regression line. So I'm going to right click on a ordered pair here that's on the graph, add trend line, and it says display equation on chart. Click close. And here is my equation. Next, I'm going to get all my predicted values. These are all the predicted Y values, which in this case is the drive head injury score. And I'm going to do so by entering my least squares regression line, 14.871 times, and then my X value, which is the chest injury score, minus 134.8. And that gives me my predicted value. So for it, chest injury score of 52 right now my model is predicting a head injury score of 638 I actually observed 467 now let's do and well let's find our residual what is our residual our residual is going to be what I observe minus what I predicted so I'm going to come over here and type equal to this value minus this value. In other words, observed y minus predicted y. Hit return, and this is my residual value. So now I'm going to highlight both, go to the lower right hand corner, hold my mouse button down, and drag to get the rest. So everything on this column here is a residual value. To get my residual plot, what I want to do now is highlight the first column, drive chest, I'm now going to hit the control key on my keyboard and I'm going to next, as I'm holding my control key on the keyboard, I'm going to highlight that last column residual. What the control key allows me to do is skip over these two columns. Now once I've done that, I'm ready to create the scatter plot. I'm going to go to insert, scatter, choose this one, and here is my residual plot. And I'm going to click here on the horizontal axis just to get a better view of this. Right now it's uh, starting at zero. Zero seems way too low. I'm going to go here fixed and type in 30 and close. Okay. Now notice here's the zero. There is that horizontal line right here. In fact, let me uh, let me make that a little more pronounced. There's that line. And you can see my ordered pairs are scattering above and below this line. But if I look at the previous plot, which I cannot get in front at the moment. <laughs> Technology is wonderful. There. Um, and notice there's, the, there's that point right here. There's this point, this point, there they are. So it's really the same graph, except it allows the least squares regression line to get adjusted so it's horizontal and instead of seeing the actual data values I'm not seeing the actual data values I'm seeing how far the data values are from the regression line now again when I look at this it's a, it, you know at least it seems like half the points are above the line half the points are above the line with no apparent pattern and that's a good thing one thing I would want to do is maybe create a histogram of the residuals because in creating the histogram of the residuals I'm hoping to see that the residual the histogram of the residuals will follow a normal distribution as theory says it should I'm gonna do the next problem very fast this I'm gonna go to this next tab here at the bottom 